Let me show you how I made some three inch acoustic panels for my studio that work great. I made them in less than 10 minutes and they cost me less than 10 bucks. You're gonna wanna see this. I made these out of coffee sacks. You may not think that's all that attractive and if so, then I've got a solution for that. In just a minute, I'll show you and tell you. Uh, but these are coffee bags that you can get from a coffee roaster. I secured them to the wall with some washers that I painted black and some screws, drywall screws. Uh, lots of different kinds. They're pretty eclectic, maybe a little eccentric, but they work great in this studio. All right, let me show you how I made them and then I'll tell you uh, what you can do if you don't like this look, if you don't like the coffee uh, coffee bag burlap look, if you want something a little bit more classy, then I'll show you, tell you and show you uh, how you can fix that. Let's start making them. So this one laid out flat is 28 and a half, maybe 28 and a quarter, something like that. This one is 41 long on the money. For me, 24 inches, 23 and a half is perfect. Goes in tight, but it goes in. Let me show you the material that I'm using. So this is what I'm using. It's thermofiber by Owings Corning Fire and Sound. It is a mineral wool, uh, not fiberglass. So you're not gonna be quite as itchy, although you do need to use the PPE. I'll be using a dust mask, gloves, um, and uh, just trying to keep it off of me. It does itch a little, and but nothing like <laughs> nothing like fiberglass does. So this is also it's 15 inches wide and it's 47 long, 15 by 47. So what I do is use in this bag. Let me just come back over here. In this bag, I use half of that. I cut half. I cut that half in two. Was a previous one. I cut it half in two, so it's 47 wide, so I've got uh, almost 24, not quite 24, for half of it. I already got it measured, and this stuff with a bread knife, a serrated knife, cuts like butter. Literally. Just like that. So these three pieces, these three pieces will make one sack. A four inch piece just fills out the top. Don't have to, you could fold the top over and it could be smaller, but that will make up a complete full coffee set. This one is a little looser, this type of bag <laughs> it's a little looser than the other ones that I did. And I am wearing a face mask, gloves, uh, probably need to be wearing goggles too just so the fibers won't get in my eyes. I think that's the way I did it last time. Put it in there a little ways. And stand it up. Just like you're putting a pillow in a pillowcase. And there's a four inch piece that will fill out. Again, you could you could lap it over, fold this over right here, and have a shorter one. But I wanted to make them as big as I could. So that that is a full one so now for the gluing I watched someone make some of these something similar a little more a whole lot more difficult and they use this 3m 77 adhesive spray adhesive and man that stuff works well and it works fast so let's use that let me show you how I fold that over and seal that up
Try and pull it tight. Starts getting tacky pretty quick. This is going to be the back side of the absorber panel. The panel. I usually come in here and trim this off. And then I spray just a little dab of adhesive on it so it won't fray. Just a little tag in there. If you have a corner that's a little stubborn, put a clamp on it maybe. Clamp it down. It sticks pretty doggone good and very fast, so you don't have to do this necessarily on every corner. But some of them you do. <clears throat> some of these I have decided I'm just going to make a shorter one. Instead of putting that four inch piece here and having just a little bit to fold over, I'm going to fold over that much so it's going to be 30 inches by 23 and a half and it's a whole lot easier to do it this way when you when you put that last one in there it's kind of hard to tuck and but this way just spray you some spray you some adhesive on that both sides where you're going to fold it pull it tight try to Hold it over. Now the bottom side is stuck. This side is not. So I spray inside here. To hold this down. Whole lot easier. Quicker. Much quicker. And, uh, and you get just a little bit smaller pad. Well, I've got uh, a bunch of them done there. And I have several over there stacked up. Now, could I have made frames for them? And I started to, actually. There's a piece of a frame over there that I was going to make. And I've got the equipment to make frames. i got everything I need to do to make them shoot. I can make them out of metal if I want to. But, uh, just didn't see the necessity of it. This, it takes about... Uh, less than five minutes, two or three minutes to make one of these. Here's how it sounds with naked walls. Spoken voice is echoey. We're gonna try to kill those reflections. So here's how the studio sounds with all my panels up. Okay, so that's how they look. That's how we made them. Simple to make, just a few minutes each. Now, if you don't like the coffee bag look, and I may change mine sooner or later, so what you can do is use the burlap for capturing the material, the uh, ma the mineral wool material, and you can stretch some fabric of your choice that you like, maybe a gray or a black or something that would look nice in your studio. Stretch that over it, stretch it tight, and... Um, and class them up a little bit. I get it. These aren't all that classy. I think they're pretty cool looking, but not classy. Anyway, so I've got the base traps here in the corner. This just stretches from that. That's a corner there. This just stretches from corner to corner. Kind of hard to see depth in a video, but that's a corner. Got two 
in each corner. We've got two along the back wall. There is a window right there and an air conditioner right outside that window that uh, has pretty much been blocked as far as sound. Another base trap there. Uh, this is a reflection point, your first reflection point from your, from where I sit to that speaker right there. I don't get hardly any reflection in here. I think you can hear that. And, um, but if you don't like this look, if you don't like, if you don't want to look at uh, Juan Valdez here, and if you don't know who Juan Valdez is, then you don't remember the old Folger commercials. That's a fictitious, com fictitious character that they came up with. But you may want to use, uh, um something else you may want to you may want to use the the coffee bags but you may want to stretch some um other material over it to give it a little bit more class now where do you find the coffee bags uh you'll have to go to a coffee roaster it'll have to be somebody that handles coffee in huge bulk these are probably 100 pound sacks uh, when they're full, probably a hundred pounds of coffee. So you'll have to go to a coffee roaster. You can get these. I've seen them on eBay for for uh, six to ten bucks, but you can get them a lot less uh, less than that. I've bought these for about three dollars a piece. Um, go to a roaster. He's probably got tons of them. Would love to get rid of them, and would love to get something for them. So you just offer him something, or go on eBay. If you like this design, if you like the way this looks, then go on eBay. So they're easy to make. Take the reflection out of the room. Cheap. What more could you ask? Time to get back to making videos and making a little music. <laughs>